Breaking news. California says that a new and more contagious strain of coronavirus is spreading there as the U.S. suffers its deadliest day of the pandemic. The growing fear tonight that this new mutation of the virus is spreading across the country and could push overwhelmed hospitals to the breaking point. Why scientists say it's so easy to catch. Plus a dire new prediction of deaths expected in the coming days. Distribution delays. Seniors and healthcare workers wait to be vaccinated as the leaders of Operation Warp Speed admit the vaccine program isn't living up to its name. With more than 12 million doses delivered, why haven't more Americans gotten them? Third shot approved. England okays the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, calling it a game changer. The new plan tonight to space out the shots and get more people vaccinated. So why could it still take months before it's approved here? Raising an objection. A Republican senator says he'll object to Joe Biden's electoral college win next week. Plus, the deepening divide in Congress over those $2,000 stimulus checks, what it means for your pocketbook. Winter storm alerts. From heavy snow to a rare December tornado, millions of Americans getting pummeled by a powerful winter storm. Why things are expected to get worse in time for the new year. Ignored warnings? Police tipped off by the girlfriend of the Nashville bomber. Tonight, what she told investigators last year and the question, why wasn't he stopped? Brazen attack, explosions, and gunfire ring out just as the new leaders of Yemen touch down at the airport, the latest on the deadly ambush. And reunited, after a nine-month battle with COVID-19, a holiday wish is granted. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Nora is off. I'm Margaret Brennan.